What's up, you guys? We are in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. What's up? My name is Michael Rutherford. I am with Cassie from Washington. Say what's up. Hey, how's it going, guys? We wanted to bring you a quick, uh, this is actually the very first episode of uh, just our promoter spotlight. We're going to travel the world, meet with teammates, and have them share with you their experience drinking ketones, their experience with our business, our community, our platform, the team, everything that we're doing. Uh, it's going to be fun. Are you excited? So exciting. First one ever. We're going to wing the damn thing. <laughs> so uh, we have a construction site over here. We got dumb trucks driving by, but the view is too good not to not to lay down some footage. So uh, who are you? What's your tale, Mother Goose? Tell us. Where are you from? What's your, what's your story? All right. Hi, I'm Cassie Winfrey. I am from Washington State. Uh, been drinking ketones for going on three years now. And uh, yeah, it's my my life changed drastically in the last couple of years so what was it like before ketones so yeah before ketones um i was a full-time working mom uh worked in a cubicle uh fresh out of the military and uh, just kind of trying to find my new purpose um i was in a kind of a darker place in my life uh, trying to go through a lot of um a lot of postpartum stuff after I had my son. Stuff, huh? That's what we yeah, call it. Stuff. Yeah, postpartum stuff. <laughs> um, but yeah, I—I I mean, I. Lady stuff. Lady stuff. I was the um, had a very very hard pregnancy. It was the highest in my weight that I'd ever been, and the lowest mental state I had ever been in. Wow. So um, yeah, I uh, found ketones through my mom. She introduced it to me. She uh, actually brought it to my house and left it on my counter very conveniently after begging me to try it <laughs> for quite a while. Um, and uh, she's like, Cassie, just try it. Just drink them for a few days and let me know what you think. So that's what I did. And I never looked back. So it works. Uh, what are some of the fast forward a little while? What was like maybe one of the very first? Oh, this stuff's good. I like this. I'm going to drink this forever. Um. Day five, I realized I hadn't cried in a week, and that was huge for me. <laughs> We're going to put I, that on the new box. <laughs> it makes moms not cry and not yell. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, no, for me, it was definitely um, day five. It was actually like a very vivid moment. Um, I uh, wanted to take my kids to the park, and my nine-year-old at the time, she looked at me, and I'll never forget because she looked at me, and she was like, you want to leave the house, really? And that, in that moment, I realized what was I doing, you know, like as a mom and, uh, what kind of life and what kind of example was I setting that I didn't even want to have, like, or couldn't muster up enough energy to take them to go do fun things. And because just the idea of it was exhausting for me. Um, uh, so for her to look at me and be shocked at the fact that I wanted to take them to do something, I, that was a moment that like was a very, very pivotal moment in my, in my mom life. <laughs> That's very cool. And for me, drinking the product, kind of putting my own oxygen mask on and feeling better was a big deal. Who were some of the first people or what was some of the first times that you shared it where it became apparent that helping other people was something that you wanted to do, could do, were good at, and you would enjoy? Yeah. So I, when I started drinking and I started feeling better, I realized that this is something that a lot of moms needed. Uh, that was my main focus at the time. My, my, my main focus was just the fact that it was helping me so much right. and it was helping me on the inside and it was helping me then help my family. And I realized more parents, more people need this in their life. Right. And so, uh, I just started reaching out to, uh, people that I was in the military with, um, like the spouses mostly because it's not easy being a military spouse. You're home alone with your kids a lot <laughs> and your you know, spouse is gone. And so I started reaching out to some of the women I knew. Um, and then I also started, uh, my husband started taking them to work and they slowly started disappearing on me and I realized that he was drinking them. So he started taking them and then um, started sharing them in the police department with his friends. So that kind of was a aha moment when we realized just how many different avenues and different types of people need this. It's not just for one thing or another. It, it, you know, helped him in, you know, to where it was helping him through his night shifts and his police work. And then he started taking it and sending it home with him. 
Okay, the beauty of editing. We shifted our seats a little bit, and we took a pause because there was some big dump, <laughs> big dump truck coming by. So let's see if you can tell that we shifted two feet this way. <laughs> um, so one other thing, I, very naturally, and tell me kind of how it went down for you. A lot of times people will try ketones, they'll drink them. Ooh, these are great. Ooh, my mom wants to try them, or my sister does, or my neighbor, or my husband, or my boy, whoever, right? And then the next thing you know, they hit you and go, what is this magical unicorn dust you gave me? I feel insane. I feel like I'm 19. At what point did you know you had a business? Did you know it could actually fund some of your bills and fund some of your life and take you in cool experiences and actually become a real thing. Cause a lot of people think it's some unicorn dream to be able to work from home, to be able to travel, to be able to be self-employed, to not have to wear uniform and go to work and punch hours. At what point did you know that this could work for you and was real and you could do it? Um, so that's, that's an amazing question. And I actually, I have a very like specific moment for me where it was, um, you know, I started toying with the idea at the very beginning, just not the business side, but, you know, just the product I wanted to be able to get in in our budget and just kind of like work it in and um, and help as many people as possible. You know, leading into about six months in, I started realizing, um, you know, as we started trickling in a hundred bucks, you know, $80 here and there, I was it was kind of a, hmm, maybe this we could help us with like our car payment. Your avocados you know? are paid for, your yeah, eggs yeah. and bacon are paid for. You know, for. we were like, oh, we can, uh, you know, I was on maternity leave still, you know, and I wanted to extend that. And so my husband and I sat down and we were like, if we could uh, match half of my salary pay, with prove it, then we can afford to, for me not to, not have to go, go back. back to work. And I was, um, and that was a huge motivator for me because I really, really disliked my job in a cubicle with no windows and I didn't want to leave my kids. Um, and so I, uh, just started sharing my little heart out <laughs> with people because I had seen what it, that it's cape that it's doable. You know, I started looking into the community and finding other people that were doing it, like how I wanted to do it and who I could relate to. And I just attached myself to them aggressively <laughs> and, you know, and then I just started duplicating what they were doing and it just kind of started happening. It was super easy. It was fluid. It didn't, doesn't feel forced. It was so much, and it's been so much fun ever since. And so I just keep doing the same things over and over again, and it just keeps growing and growing. And so I did that for about three months. And then we realized that we did it, that we matched right. half of my pay. And so I was able to quit and then dedicate even more time to just keep doing what I was doing. And it, yeah, it's just been it's been easy. <laughs> I like it. No, it's fun. It, for a lot of people, it does happen naturally like that. Mm -hmm. It's not, most people don't drink a sample and go, well, I should be the new CEO of a $100 million ketone slinging business in 30 <laughs> countries. That's not what they wake up on a Tuesday thinking. That's happened. Uh, and it doesn't always start that way. So as people are watching this, get a sample, buy a five day, buy a 10 day, buy a box, buy a, you know, promoter, uh, uh, max pack, you know, get the 10 box or, it doesn't matter. Just get started. Drink it, share it, believe it might work. Vision cast what you're doing and where you're going to other people. And you might be surprised who shows up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Most people aren't doing what they wished they were doing. Mm -hmm. In other words, most people's careers today are not what they believed they would be doing when they were 18. I don't mean all. I mean most. I'm not trying to globalize too much. Generally speaking, if you polled your Facebook, how many of you love what you do for a career? Most of them don't. How many people are changing lives at their career? Most are not. How many are making at least enough money? Very few. How many are making more than enough money to where they can jump on a plane and travel the world with their family anytime they want? Very few. How many have all of it? It's a small number. Yeah. So uh, last question, tip or trick or advice or feedback for somebody that's going to watch this that hasn't done anything, doesn't know anything, is thinking about trying it. Maybe they stumbled on the video. A friend showed it to them. Maybe they're on their five-day sample. Um, any thoughts, feedback at all? Yeah. One of my biggest, my biggest things is drink it, but don't be afraid to share it with the ones you love because you never know who is struggling or could use it. And that's not our job to decide uh, who needs it and who doesn't need it. And uh, one of my biggest tips that I, when I talk to a lot of my friends and family is that's not 
that's just not something that we need to decide. We need to share it with as many people as possible because you don't know who's like struggling behind closed doors like I was. I thought I had it all figured out. I thought I was hiding my my sadness very well and uh right. you know and so but if my mom had never i mean she waited a year to tell me about it and i was like i asked her all the time how come you wait and she's like i just didn't think you'd want to try it and i and it breaks my heart because i wish that she would have told me sooner so that i i let me make that decision for myself and so with that's that good, that's a good call that's how i go into a lot of my when i when i have my team and we get together is you know share it even if you don't think they need it because you it's just not up to us we don't know i love it so. did you have fun oh yeah it's been a blast all right guys this is the first one of hundreds we're gonna do hundreds of these all over the world hopefully in some cool places i think we did the inaugural one in a cool place maybe we'll get down to the beach club and do one later uh if you're catching this video and you're not a part of this reach out we'd love to connect with you and uh get you plugged in if you haven't drank ketones you got to drink some get with whoever showed this to you get some product from them become a customer become a promoter i don't care what you do that's your that's up to you that's kind of your problem <laughs> <laughs> so my oxygen mask is on you need to get yours on now so thanks for watching you guys thanks for doing this this is cool yeah thanks thanks for sticking around and watching that video if you're new to the channel hit subscribe smash that bad dog and digest as many of these stories as you can. Our goal is that you see yourselves inside of the stories of all these amazing people. Take inspired action, write your own story that one day I'll feature you on this channel and you'll inspire millions of people from around the world.